What is up, my good lords? It's Yapper here back for another video. When today we're going to be discussing about the E3 event, but before we get it, head start, let's talk about my absence. You know, previously, um, like I said on my previous video, I couldn't be able to do videos due to schoolwork, um, exams, and you know, personal issues, etc., etc. So since I got that out of the way, we're back, guys. Welcome back. Well, I'm gonna start uploading regularly next week. Because, you know, school's about to end and, you know, summer's out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, your boy gotta have a break here, you know, come some slack. But, anyway, um, let's talk about the E3 uh, uh, conference. So, this year's E3 conference was pretty much a shocker. They, they pretty much, they, they threw you with some games. I, you know, there's some new games that pretty much caught my attention. But the ones that, the, uh, the ones I saw caught my attention the most. Um, for example... Devil May Cry 5. I've never played Devil, Devil, the Devil May Cry series, but I would love to go back and maybe experience the the franchise in depth. But um, not only Devil May Cry, but Doom Eternal, which is another sequel, or I'm not, I'm not sure. But I'm assuming it's a Doom 2 reboot from uh from what I'm seeing in the trailer. And Resident Evil 2, as you can see in the footage right now, gameplay footage of Resident Evil 2. Um, this is just a demo of Resident Evil 2. Uh, that game actually shocked me the most out of any games because it's one of those games that I've played uh, in my childhood. I used to own this on the Nintendo 64 cartridge, but I somehow lost it. But uh, maybe I can get uh, sort of a recreation of that game, you know, by uh, buying it again and experience uh, that intense uh, horror feel like I did in the other one because. I remember when I first played it, I used to be so scared. I told my dad, yo, you should play, you know, I don't, I don't know with that. But, um, I'm glad that they brought the franchise back with a remake because, um, they announced this back in 2015. Yeah, around that time. And it just took them so long. And the crazy part is that Capcom, they said that they were going to, uh, do an announcement, but they didn't say, well, on which game though. Which was, you know, kind of worried, but I'm glad that they surprised us with that game. You know, like, we didn't even see this coming. Like, we didn't even see this coming. I, I like how the trailer uh, is and the gameplay. Uh, it's not your typical Resident Evil 2. It's, it has that feel to it, but it's in a different perspective. I think Capcom is trying to approach it differently with Resident Evil 2. But still want to stick with this formula, which I really like so far. You know, I haven't tried the game yet. My friend said he's gonna hook me over PS4, so I might either get it, get it for that one, and pre-order the the special edition, which is like seventy dollars, because you know I'm a fan of Resident Evil, and um, you know you guys barely see Resident Evil content in this channel, you know mainly Doom, but overall E3 has caught my surprise. Like <laughs> my balls are preserved right now. When I saw Resident Evil 2, man, like, I did not expect that, and, oh my, bro, you know, excuse graphics, bro, excuse graphics, but the game looks realistic AF, like, that's the words that I can describe right now, and, um, I'm expecting for more, you know, there, there's all the games that they're still in the making that I still don't get, but I expect for more games come out. And I'm really excited for this franchise, you know. Excuse me if I don't talk too much about Doom, you know. Doom is like overall, the, like the best game ever, man. Doom 2016, I feel like they killed it the most. They they did a great job on implementing the old school mechanics. But at the same time, they implemented new stuff. So they did a, they trying to mix it up. Instead of giving that repetitive uh, game that we, you know, we all, we all like. But, you know. Since they come over another sequel and the ending of the campaign was, you know, off-putting, um, I, I think it makes sense. It makes sense to release another sequel. Um, and that, you know, I hope uh, to see a lot of more things in 2016 because 2016, I think, was a pretty much a great reboot for uh, newcomers and oldcomers, you know, especially me since I like my Doom. Um, if they're gonna release uh, an, a sequel, which I, they probably will, like there's no other way. Um, I'm gonna do a playthrough like I did because you know it's Doom. <laughs> this content is pretty much almost Doom related, but at the same time I expand to other things. I diverse, but uh, uh, I don't regret it. I don't regret this E3 is about. I think it's better. It, this was better than uh, last year's E3. I'm glad that they came back with this uh, game 
for you know for us to experience and witness the amazing things that we encounter but you know I I'm about to say this year is gonna be pretty much great you know even though 2016 by far for me was the best year because you know my channel started growing I had a great summer it was just the best year I and mean, I hope that this year they kill even better in 2017 or 2016 um, like I said I hope for more great things to come because there, there's really good games out there that I really want to try and play for you guys to see and uh, and enjoy. Um, this is just a warm up video. I just had to upload on a Wednesday just to announce things really early. Don't worry, I'll get back in schedule as soon as possible and you know start uh, uploading uh, frequently. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and like and I hope you guys had a great Father's Day on Sunday by the way um either way see it see you later and have a great summer yeah <clears throat> I'm sure you did what you could Leon